This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. We're back playing some more Starbound and today we're going to take a look at tech. So if you're new to the game, you'll probably find this video very interesting and helpful. If you're not new and you've already unlocked a ton of tech, then you're probably going to find this video extremely boring. Anyway, let's get to it. I'm not going to go over each of the techs that you have to unlock to unlock the tech tree. So like the distortion sphere, you have to unlock that to get to all of these others. You'll know what that does. The dash, I'm not going to go over that one because you have to unlock that one. And the pulse jump, we won't be going over that one because once again, you have to unlock that one in order to unlock rest of the leg tech. So the first sphere that we're going to take a look at is the sonic sphere. When you have the Sonic Sphere equipped, if you hold down F, you will charge up. When you see it start to turn backwards like that, that is when you're fully charged. Holding it more won't do anything. You let go, it gives you a quick dash. Then all you do is you hit F, you come out of it, and then you can hit F and hold it down and charge it again. You can't charge it when you're already in the form. You can only charge it on the initial transform and then afterwards it's basically the exact same as the distortion sphere. Next we have the aquasphere. This will allow you to travel across the top of water. So once you transform, when you're on land, it's basically the exact same thing as the distortion sphere. However, you'll notice as soon as I jump on the water that I float on top of it. You get pretty decent speed when you're on the top of it. Not terrible. Not the greatest out of all the options, but it's okay. When you come out of it, you'll sink, but you can immediately swim. You can jump, transform, sink just a little bit, and you'll bob to the top. And that is the aquasphere. Next, we're going to look at the spike sphere. This one is by far the most utilitarian one and pretty much in my opinion the only one that's worth having you can see here that when i jump and i hit f to transform i stick to the side and you can hit your a and d keys or whatever you're using and have bound to your left and right and you can stick to pretty much any surface and you will just follow the edge of the surface and go around till you hit f to come out of it Next thing we're going to take a look at is the body tech and I already have sprint equipped. You see me use this all the time. You just double tap the key and you will run quickly in that direction and it drains your stamina as you do so. This in my opinion is by far the most handy body tech. The other ones are okay but this one is honestly the best. Blink dash is exactly what you would think it is and it's pretty much the same thing that you see on some of the weapons. You double tap and you'll do a quick blink. But you can see it has a bit of a cooldown. You'll see that I flash. Watch, I'll double tap. And that little flash you just saw there, that's the cooldown on it. So you can't use it like crazy. Now we're going to take a look at the air dash. It's pretty much the exact same as the normal dash except you can use it on the ground and if you jump you can use it mid jump. Here I am mid jump and you can see that I can dash. You cannot use it up or down only left or right. That one's okay but honestly in my opinion the best one out of the body techs is the sprint. Next we're gonna move on to the leg tech and I'll show off the multi jump. This one you see me use all the time. It gives you a bunch of little jumps. This is really handy if you have an alien potion because you get a he heck of a lot more height and you can really extend your jumps a long way with this multi jump. Next we have the rocket jump. You're gonna jump, hold down space, and then you'll charge for a second and then fire in off in whatever direction you are holding. If you don't hold any direction, you just go straight up. You can go at angles if you hold the W and D or the W and A keys. You can also jet to the left or to the right. And for whatever reason you may want to, you can actually use it to rocket down like you saw there. 
and you have to touch ground before you can do it again. Once you're in midair, you cannot activate it a second time. The next tech we're gonna look at for the leg tech is the wall jump. You get a secondary jump with this one, like this. And it also gives you the ability to stick to the wall and slide down it. You can jump off of it again, but you will gain downward momentum and you cannot jump up a wall with this. That's one of the reasons I like the spike sphere because you can go up the wall if you need to. This one just kind of lets you gracefully slide down a wall. I don't really see the point in it. Now on to, I guess you could call it some fire spark tips. These are the techs that I run with. The head tech is the spikes. The body tech is the sprint and the leg tech is the multi jump. All of these other spheres, honestly, are pretty much useless. The spike sphere is going to be your most handy by far. Same goes with the body tech. Uh, you may find the blink dash a little helpful in some cases if you're fighting bosses or whatever, but the cooldown on it is extremely long and the dashes are pointless when you have sprint. Same goes with the leg tech. The rocket jump is kind of meh. The wall jump is completely useless. The pulse jump is good and the multi jump are good. This one's kind of a preference thing. I like having multi jump, but honestly, the pulse jump is just as good as the multi jump, especially when combined with stuff that uh, decreases your gravity. So that's going to do it for this video. Just a little short one. I just wanted to show off tech to everybody because when I first started playing the game, I wasn't sure which tech I wanted to unlock for first or which ones would be even worth unlocking. I have them all unlocked now just because I had all the cards to do so and I figured, eh, why not? That's going to call it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if it was helpful. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Also, if you're not already, make sure you're following me on Twitter for all the good channel updates and stuff like that. Until next time, thanks for watching.